have with us here today the winner of BBC Five Lives Young Commentator of the Year competition. Here he is, Kai Bacini. Good Yay! morning. Thank you. Yes. But have you got any tips for a young commentator like me who wants to make it to the top? Not at the moment, no. <laughs> you know, you've made me go, have I gone the wrong way now? Get all, like all the experience you can get. Get your name out there. <laughs> and this is the start of that. But so far, my boy, I learned your confidence. That will get you a long way down the line. Keep doing what you're doing. So, Billy, obviously you've had an amazing return to motorsport after your injury. Uh, what are your plans for this season? Um, at the minute, I'm looking to hopefully race something in Europe, some form of um, F3 in Europe. That would be the, the ideal plan. So you want to be a commentator? Yeah, hopefully. Um, it's, it's about knowledge. So, obviously, this sounds like an amazing series. Do you think it's going to be the next step for women making it to F1? Well, I don't think it's just about Formula One. I think it's about becoming a professional racing driver. So, as we've looked at your profile before, you've been racing for two years. You've done 29 races and 17 podiums. That is absolutely outstanding. Well done. Thank you. Oh, second! Second! second. Me too. It's a one-two. I'll take that. It's a one-two. I'll take that. High five. Let's go. Well done. Well done. Last chance for Sam Shaw. Will he be able to get them through the bottom corner? Alessandro Trevinetti getting dangerously close, but it looks like it might be Josh McLean who's going to take the win. It's Josh McLean who takes the win. Will Knight pulls out. Is he going to make the move? No, he doesn't. Oh, and there's a spin. There's a spin for Will Knight. Oh, that's such a shame. What a win from Macaulay <laughs> Bishop. That was absolutely outstanding. Amazing move. He just read that situation perfectly and picked up that win, snatched it from everyone else. That just proves that you don't need to be in a big team. So you got picked up by the Nico Rosberg development team. How do you think that helps you out in European racing? Just getting noticed by more people and trying to attract more sponsors. As you're in karting, you had a very successful career. Do you think it's going to be the same in Formula 4? Uh, yeah, I hope I can be as successful in F4 as I, are, as I was in karting, but we'll see. So overall report for three first cars in the first race was a second for Jake Hill, which was an absolutely amazing performance. We will catch up with him in a couple of minutes. And Mark Mundell, absolutely stunning drive from the back in his debut race in uh, three first cars. He came 14 from the back of the grid. He's done an absolute amazing job. Absolute amazing overtakes that we've seen him do in F1, but we haven't seen him do it in this class yet. So, Jake, fifth position, you happy with the result? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, considering the hard tyre and everything, it was uh, very hard work, but yeah, we managed to stay somewhere sensible, which is the key thing. You used to race in 2011. Obviously, the cars and uh, actual racing itself has evolved quite a bit. What are the major changes you have noticed? major change of notice is that people take it more seriously. So you're in, currently in touring cars, what will be your plans for the future? Touring cars. I want to stay here as long as I, as long as I can. Um, I want to grow old in this championship if I can. So a very difficult quality yesterday with around five red flags, but you managed to get a good lap in front row of the grid. How do you think that will help you at the start of the race? Because weather isn't looking the greatest and if it does start a range, do you think that will help you? Uh, yeah, it was a difficult qualifying yesterday. Um, everyone had the same opportunity to get a lap in, and I, I got mine in, thankfully, at the start. So, first of all, on to your racing. Uh, you got a win in your class yesterday. How did that feel? Yeah, it's over the moment with that. So, Brendan, you're two-time world champion in the F1 eSports. How did you get into the eSports? So, as a kid, I did motocross, and I saw Codemasters brought out the game in 2010. Ever since then, I've been hooked on their game and playing it ever since. We're going to try and do an interview whilst racing on Mario Kart. How does that sound? Easy. <laughs> so obviously, as we know, last year Super One ran the British Championships. What happened? Um, well, the karting UK, um, well, they basically took it off us. So. Uh... Okay, so you don't know which series you're going with, but is it definitely going to be running for the young kids like me who want to do it next year? Um, hopefully, I can't say definitely, but probably. <laughs> Keeping it safe there, are you? Trying. <laughs> That's how you do it. You know why that happened? Because I've got experience. And the more experience you get, the better you'll get as well. And then I'll be out of the job. Thank you for all the support you show him. He's a natural, super impressed with what he does. So get behind him, keep supporting him, keep following him. This last lap's going to be epic. 
talking about Max and Ethan Jeff they're not careful up at the front if they don't uh, start working together it looks like Max will be right on the back of them and this is where it starts to get messy as it looks like Neat's going to go into the lead and here comes Max and it's all straight on the attack trying to get into that top three podium position.